Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another tutorial for you and this is a pop of purple. As you can see, I have some purple under my eyes and some purple lips. So if you would like to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So I started off by priming my face and I took the Flawless uh, Brightening Primer from Barry M, which is the purple one as you can see and I just put that all over my face and down my neck. Next I took my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Ivory and I just dotted this all over my face. And then going in with my Real Techniques Miracle, Miracle Complexion Sponge I just blended it all in. For concealer, I went in with my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in the shade Ivory and I just put this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and under my lower lip. And I went back in with that Real Technique sponge just to blend everything all together. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the NYX Proof It Eye Primer and I am just putting that all over my lids and then I'm going to blend it out using my finger. And to set that I'm taking my Coverall Pressed Powder from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Fair and I'm just taking this large fluffy brush, this is from Penny, this is part of the holographic um, brush set that they had and I'm just setting everything into place. Moving on to brows, I'm taking my Soap and Glory Archery DIY Brow Bar and I am mixing the two shades together. And taking this brush from Kiko, I am just filling in my brows. And as always, I'm going to set that with the what used to be clear mascara from Collection. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and this is in the shade Permanent Taupe. And I am just taking this brush. This is from Essence. It's just one of their flat shader brushes. It's one of the peach ones. And I am just putting that all over my lid and just slightly higher than my crease. I have hooded eyes, so I just do this to make my eyes just look a little bit bigger than they actually are. And taking this blending brush from Real Techniques, I am just blending out that cream base. And then I'm going to take this uh, Kiko eyeshadow, it's one of their single eyeshadows, and this is in the shade 122. It's pretty much the same kind of taupey shade as the base I've just put down, and I'm just going to set that base, put this again in my crease, and bring it slightly above. And then with a clean essence brush, I am just going to blend out all those harsh edges.
Moving on to this e.l.f. single eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Purple Passion. And I would have opened it to show you the color, but it's broken and I didn't, just didn't want it to fall anywhere. So I'm just taking this pencil brush from Boots and I am just applying that to my lower lash line. And then taking that same blending brush that we had that still has a bit of the Pico shade on it, I am just blending the, all that out. And I didn't really like how um, it was blended at the top, so I just went back in with that Essence brush and just blended a bit more. Next, I'm taking the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner, and this is slowly becoming one of my favorites. And I'm gonna to apologize now for how out of focus I am here, and again, later on in the video, you'll see how out of focus I am, and I am apologizing now. So taking the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the shade Black Bean, I am just going to use this to tight line my, um, I am so tired. It's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm recording this. I'm using this to tight line my eyes and I'm also gonna put that in the waterline as well. Time for mascara. I am taking the Kiko Luxurious Lashes Mascara and I am just going to coat my top and bottom lashes with this. Going back into the pressed powder from Wet n Wild and taking an angled eyeshadow brush, I am just going to slightly highlight um, this under my brow bone and I'm also using it as well to, just to blend out the edge of that eyeshadow. Moving on to bronzer, I'm taking the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer and this is in the shade St. Lucia. You'll know this is one of my favorite ones to use. And just taking one of those brushes again, uh, sorry, no, this is from Real Techniques. I'm getting myself confused. This is uh, actually a blush brush and I am just going to use this to bronze my face. So I went in and then was just like, no, that wasn't uh, enough. So I actually went in and did like a second layer, which is one of the things I like about the bronzer. It's very buildable. So if you want it darker, you can make it darker. For my blush, I'm taking this e.l.f. Mineral Blush, and this is in the shade Bliss, and then onto a stippling brush, I am just going to put that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend back. For my highlight today, I'm taking the Makeup Obsession Highlight, and this is in the shade Bare, and this is a very subtle highlight. And I'm just taking it onto one of the holographic brushes again from Penny's, and I'm putting that onto the apple, no, so not the apple of my cheeks, the tops of my cheekbones. And I was going to take that onto the tip of my nose and onto the bridge of my nose. I did put it on my cupid's bow and under my lower lip as well, but I was so out of focus, there was no point even putting it into this video. It was just ridiculous how out of focus I was. And then taking that angle brush again and some of the highlighter, I'm just going to put that under my brow bone. Moving on to lashes, I'm taking this Duo Lash Adhesive and I'm taking the Double Trouble Lashes. I also used them in my previous video and I am just going to apply them. Moving on to my lips, I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Liquid Lipstick. It's one of their suede ones, I think it is. And this is in the shade Keep Lying For You. Kind of a weird kind of name for it. And again, I was very out of focus for the bottom, uh, for my bottom lip. I'm doing something new uh, with my monitor and it was just not working for me really. So anyway, I'm just putting this lipstick on and yep, yeah. see, out of focus. Taking my MAC Fix Plus, I am just going to set my entire face with this. And that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you liked this pop of purple tutorial. I think it's lovely and I'm really getting into using some colors lately just by doing this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of that is Face of Care. So until my next video, guys, bye.